vlog pose here with my first ever anime vlog. Okay, so I just finished the first episode of Future Diary. Now, I've seen the series a few times, but uh, now I'm actually able to go through and talk about each episode one at a time. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show. Some of you probably have. Some of you might not have. But let's just go one episode at a time and, and just talk about it. So, yeah, the first episode, we... We meet our main character, Yukitero Amino. He, well, he's kind of a wuss. Um, and, well, okay, the interesting thing, the, the, the intro, the, yeah, the, basically before the intro, you have a, kind of the, the prologue, the, yeah, the, the prologue. And it's, it's interesting, you, you have so many events that you won't see until towards the end of the show. You kind of see a foreshadowing there. First you have some kid dead on the ground. At, okay, that, that's Yuki. Spoiler. It's, it's Yuki. And... Is that a spoiler? And... Uh, well, there's a bunch of like uh, cyanide and a bunch of stuff next to him because he's dead. And then this pink-haired girl travels back and well I don't know it, it's hard to describe just from the first episode all you know is that you hear somebody crying and then they get slashed to death and then, so there's just like blood splattering everywhere really disturbing imagery for the first minute of this series so you're like oh okay this is definitely a, a, a bloody series a, Definitely not for kids. Uh, although, I suppose if you just read the summary or look at any picture, you can tell, eh, this is probably not for kids. Uh, not that I'm a kid myself. I'm a man. Um, yeah. So anyway. Uh, Yukitero, uh, I'll just call him Yuki, that's what they call him in the show. Uh, he's not really all that popular because he just, he's just not. He's definitely introverted, just focused on his phone. He just looks at his phone all the time. And what he does is he logs things into his phone of just what's going on around him. So it's kind of a diary. It, it, well, Future Diary is the name of the show. Of course, it's a diary. And he just logs in whatever's around him, not really focused on himself. It's just kind of like, oh, yeah, so these guys are walking down the street today. That's kind of unusual because they don't normally do that. So he, he focuses on what's going on around him and uh, when he gets home and he's just he's just in a daydream talking to a god basically and that's his daydream that those are his friends as, as a god and some little imp thing I don't know how to describe murmur but that that's basically that and um, he wakes up the next morning and finds on his phone some events that haven't even happened yet and so he's like oh okay that, that's weird so he tries it out, like, oh, okay, so it says I'm going to get a double bullseye on my dartboard. So he does that, oh, okay, double bullseye on my dartboard, cool. And then he's uh, fixing his breakfast, and there's news about the serial killer. Oh, yeah, that was one of the other things. There's a serial killer uh, killing women and with a machete. Uh, and so there was another one of those. Uh, so he, anyway, he goes to school. He's got all the uh, answers to the math quiz on his phone. Which kind of makes me wonder. Okay, I think this series came out in 2010, but I know that in my school, teachers were very strict about cell phones. Uh, yeah, good luck trying to get away with having your phone out during a, a quiz, even if it's on silent or whatever. And I, I know that kids are pretty discreet, and 2010 you can probably get away with a lot more than you can nowadays. But I'm just wondering, you have the teacher walking around, and how is he not saying, hey, Yuki, put your phone away? but he didn't even seem to notice. Now what he did focus on was this pink-haired girl, and she's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just keeping my mind occupied and just playing with an eraser, which I have some, I have some of those erasers, those are really fun, it's like, it's like Play-Doh. Uh, yeah, but she was doing that to keep her mind occupied, which sounds irrelevant at that current moment. Until you realize after that test, um, and Yuki looks over at the little eraser thing that's still on the desk, and it's Murmur. And so, kind of makes you wonder, wait a minute, this was Yuki's 
daydream his imaginary friends. So how does Yuno know, know what his imaginary friends look like? Well, it turns out that Deus isn't actually a figment of Yuki's imagination. Deus is actually this true god of this world. And uh, we also learn that Yuki is not the only one that has this ability to see into the future. As we learn, when Yuki's phone gets all staticky or whatever, that's going to be a sound that if you guys are watching, you're going to hear that sound a lot. And that basically just means that uh, his future has changed. And his future, in this case, has what is called a dead end, which Deus explains those rules. Which, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and explain that. I'll, I'll kind of jump to the end before going back to the middle. And, okay, so, uh, it's a survival game. There are 12 people that are in a battle to the death. Battle royale, battle to the death. Last one standing becomes God. Uh, they are going to replace Deus as the next uh, Lord of Time and Space, or God of Time and Space, whatever his title is called. And last one standing becomes God. And all 12 of them have a future diary, which is, of course, the name of the show. And their diaries all act a little bit differently. So in the case of Yuki's, it's just focusing on what's going on around him. All of these up to a span of 90 days. You have a 90-day window. Um, now the future can change if some user decides, I'm going to get rid of so-and-so today. And then so-and-so gets uh, something on their phone that says a dead end. And they can try to prevent that dead end from happening. So it's a very... Uh, you're trying to outsmart each other. I, I kind of consider this to be almost like a death note in a way, where you have uh, L and Light, and they're uh, competing with each other, trying to outdo one another. So Light does something, and L finds out, and so then L has one step ahead of Light, and then Light has come. That's a series I got to do on this, on the, whatever this. Uh, yeah, I got to do that soon because Death Note, at least the first half was fantastic. The second half, eh, which I'll talk about that when it comes to talking about. Death Note. Yeah, so anyway, back to the story, this pink haired girl, uh, Yuno Gasai, that's, that's her name, and um, she's like, oh yeah, so you've got a dead end, uh, you're gonna die today. And so of course, naturally hearing that kind of news, Yuki runs, because who is this girl, how does she know about my future diary, yeah. So she chases him into this uh, looks like a building that's still under construction. It's got 17 floors, apparently. And, according to Yuno, Yuki is going to die on the 14th floor by what is known as third. All the diary users have a number, 1 through 12. So you have Yuki, which is first, and Yuno, which is second. And third is the serial killer that I mentioned. So yeah, he wants to go ahead and get rid of Yuki, because, oh, well, easy target. Just a kid or whatever. Uh, so then you have this really cool battle where Yuki and Yuno are uh, fighting for survival and trying to take down third. So instead of going on the 14th floor, which was supposed to be Yuki's death, they go to the 17th floor, which is basically the rooftop. So of course Yuki's like, oh, okay, so yeah, it's the rooftop. That's, that's a great way to die. And Yuno's like, I have a plan. So Yuno's plan is actually quite brilliant. So she puts her phone down, which, oh, by the way, destroy the phone, destroy the user. They're, they're, they're kind of intertwined, which kind of makes me wonder, okay, so here's my phone, and I have, I have a bunch of cracks on the screen. If this was my future diary, would I die? I have a, I have a crack here, and here, and up here, and yeah, so... Would that cause me to die? I, I don't know if that was the case of a real future diary. Which I'm kind of glad it's not, although seeing through the future does sound pretty cool. But eh, that could be kind of scary at the same time. Like, oh, well, I have an uncurable disease. I'm going to die in uh, four days or something. <laughs> I keep getting distracted here. Yeah, okay. So, Yuno puts her phone on the ground and they have uh, video chat, I guess you could call it a video chat up, and so Yuki is looking through his phone waiting for third to walk past it. And that was the cue of uh, he third takes out his phone because where are they? I know they're up here somewhere. And so 
Yuna runs as a distraction, which you got to hit her props for that, because um, I guess I'm kind of more like Yuki in that regard of, okay, this guy is trying to kill me, I want to stay hidden, so here's Yuna running out there risking her life or whatever, and that causes Yuki to pull out a dart, throw it right at the phone, pierces the phone, and then just... And then third's gone. And so, yeah, uh, like I said, just just a single dart destroys the phone, which makes you wonder, if you drop the phone, will you die? Because it was, I mean, that, that was a powerful dart to be able to pierce through a flip phone. Um, yeah. So, so that is when Deus then goes over on what this game is, the survival game. Uh, and we get a glimpse of the other diary users. Uh, of course, third's gone, so you just have a little dead end, red letters floating above his uh, spot. But you get a glimpse of the other diary users, which, in a way, reminds me of the Akatsuki from Naruto, where when you first meet them and they have the, the giant statue with the eyeballs and everything, which I won't go into detail on what that is because of massive spoilers, for... <laughs> What would that be? The beginning of Shippuden, so we're already 200-some episodes into Naruto. Anyway, uh, but you get a glimpse of just who they are just from a, a silhouette, and that's kind of what they do in Future Diary. So you don't really... You kind of... You would you would recognize them if you saw them in person. Like, oh, I saw... You, but you don't really know who they are at the same time. So, uh, But I, th I thought that was kind of interesting on how they do that. It would be kind of neat to still see on who they all are before they all get picked off, but it's still, it, but at the same time, it gives you a, a, some suspense of, okay, who am I going to meet today? What is this person like? So you have some mystery behind it, and that's kind of cool. And uh, so after this, oh, of course, Yuki's doubting himself the whole time. Well, was it really me that killed third? It was, it was Yuno. And of course, Yuno's looking over because he recognizes her because, well, he was with her for that whole episode, pretty much. And, um, of course, you know, um, her diary, I don't know if I mentioned, her diary is basically um, focusing on Yuki. So Yuki focuses on everything around him. Uh, so that's what first diary does. Second's diary focuses on everything that first is doing in 10-minute intervals. So that's how she knew that he was going to die on the fourth, 14th floor, is because that's what her phone says, Yuki's going to die on the 14th floor. Third's diary uh, keeps record of all of his kills, because he's a serial killer, and I guess serial killers like to keep track of that kind of stuff? I don't know. I, I don't think I would ever want to have that stuff written down. Um, whatever. Uh, so that was Third's uh, diary power. Uh, so then after the ending credits, was, which was really cool, I, I liked the ending song, and the visual was pretty much the entire first episode played backwards and fast forward, fast rewind. Yeah. Uh, uh, but then after that, then you have uh, kind of a little, I guess I'll call them the, the murmur moments, and they're always comical, and it gives you some good insight on some of the characters' backgrounds, not really backstories, but kind of backstories in a way, and just kind of extra things to help you understand certain characters a little bit better. Uh, in this case, they focused on Third, because this is pretty much the only time we're ever going to see Third, because well, he died. Uh, so it focused on him, and Murmur found him as he was murdering the woman that we saw in the episode. And uh, he walks up, oh, it's a witness, so he slashes the phone, which causes him to... <laughs> disappear and so she has to repair the phone hey look okay this is a future diary all your kills are on this phone all oh, it's evidence and so then so then she has to explain a third time like hey this is your diary this is your life don't break it don't destroy it which of course since he's paranoid kind of probably led to his downfall pretty early in the series still an interesting character i would have liked to have seen the serial killer aspect go a little bit further but who knows, maybe we'll see more of that in future episodes. No pun intended on future. Um, so, those are kind of my thoughts of this first episode of Future Diary. Um, it's... I remember, when I first watched this, because I have seen it before, but when I first watched it, I, I was pretty much hooked from the first episode, because I'm like, okay, wow. Survival game, 
and this girl I know is crazy. Uh, we don't really get a glimpse of that outside of this one really iconic picture where she's kind of like this, like, oh, don't worry, Yuki, I love you, and I'm going to protect you. It's really creepy, and it's a lot creepier with, with the image attached to it, especially with my voice over that, that uh, face. <laughs> yeah, so that is the first episode, and um, I hope you guys... Um, are going to be following along. I'm going to try to upload um, every day for a few days, and then I'll jump to a different series for a few days, and then I'll come back to this, and so that, that's how I'll, I'll do this. So, say, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be Future Diary, and then I'll skip Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be a different series, and then come next Monday will be Episode 4 of Future Diary, and then when this episode ends, or the series ends, then I'll move on to a new series. Uh, which you might, I might be popular enough by then that you say, hey, we want to do this one next, or probably not, more likely it'll be okay. Uh, I really want to do this series next, so then I'll do that series next. But we'll find out what that is. But yeah, this is only the first episode of Future Diary. I've got more episodes of Future Diary to watch and uh, talk about, review, and uh, share with you guys. Uh, what are your comments on the first episode of Future Diary? Uh, was there some really key important thing that I missed? Uh, post those in the comment section. Let's get a good conversation going on Future Diary, because I really love the series, and I hope you guys enjoy the series. There's a lot going for the series. And I will catch you in the second episode. Goodbye.